What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. We're at hunting camp. This is Trevor Roberts and this is my son Jake, my 11 year old. Now why is he holding a palm frond? Because we're about to lay it down hunting camp style. Y'all see that swing? See all the blue? See the red stuff on me? I almost said what it was, but I'm gonna go ahead and just say the red stuff. We have been on a killing spree, me and this guy, and this guy right here. He busted him a nice five pointer this morning. Now I have shot a semi truckload of hogs, just literally one after another. And Mr. T. Robert shot a buck that I'm not even gonna show a clip on in this video because it's gonna be the next video, one of the best shots you'll ever see. But George truly has piled up the swine and I killed a nice 10 pointer. Yep. So, this is what we're gonna show you right now. This amazing steak and these two lobster. Real quick though, let's go catch the lobster and when we get back, Mr. Roberts is gonna show you how to cook this picanha. Oh. Y'all already know that's gonna taste good on that natural oak wood fire. I did leave a little bit of meat down there in the holes when I was catching them, because I was in a hurry to get here to hunt and camp. This place is insane. So, Mr. Trevor, tell them about this chunk of meat. It's the Kanye. First time I had it was last weekend, and a friend of mine that's out sold one of the Leafs, Brett Du Bois, he's the one that turned us on to it, and it is outstanding. Look at the marbleization in that joker though. You don't cut any of this fat off, that's all flavor. So you mm. want to cut it about two inches. Dang. Oh my goodness. And then, look at that. Wow. And then my homeboy here, Jacob, he got us some palmettas. These would work good for mosquito fans. <laughs> Let me tell y'all real quick about the mosquitoes on this place right now. So it's late October. Tomorrow's November, right? Today's the 31st? No, tomorrow. Tomorrow's 31st. It's last two days of October. We haven't had any cold fronts yet and the skeeters are real, but the bucks are on their feet rutting like crazy. So all Trevor did right then was cut off the little That's ridges. They call them saw palmettas. It's got like teeth on it. That's all he did. My mom used to pick those for switches and beef out of us. Yeah. Hickory, hickory switches were my mother's favorite. One thing different about 2021 and about 1985 is when me and Trevor were born and were little kids, if we talked back or got lippy or didn't do what we were told to, we got a lesson learned real quick, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we did, but that's what's wrong with this world. No one beats your kids anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and that's your fun fact of the week. Well, that's the truth. This is just butcher salt and pepper. Um, from Wild Fork, which y'all need to get a hold of Gabe. Just saying. So you're saying that's a good seasoning? Oh, it's awesome. Wild Fork? Wild Fork. We're coming for you. Oh, yeah. And you want to cover it. You can't get enough. That looks good. I wonder how many people took offense to the beaten comment. You know, when that term, oh, I had to beat my kid, these days that's like a sensitive word. Yeah. Our parents never abused us. We were some of the most blessed kids in the world. Beat back then wasn't a sensitive word. It just means we got our butt tore up. So y'all don't 
go crazy in the comments. He didn't mean beat like physically beat. Yeah. I mean, you we, got in trouble for taking your dad's tools and losing them in the woods. When he got home, he took his belt off of you and stained your hide with it. You got that right. And I'm leave a quick. comment below if you've ever had a pecania. Pecania? Pecania? I'm a redneck. You say Puerto say Rico what? real quick. Puerto Rico. Oh, he, how did he just come out? You gotta out roll your R's. Jake, say Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta roll your R's. I never would have expected Trevor Roberts to just say that. If y'all saw my any of my Puerto Rico videos, I got made fun of so bad for saying it wrong. You say Puerto, Puerto Rico. Look what he's doing here. He's just shish kebobbing it. Just gonna scare it. It's easier to, oh. easier to do. I can tell y'all one thing, in my next video, Trevor and I, after he kills the buck, we start talking about some emotions that we have with, with being in the outdoors. If you've never done what we're doing, go to a national park, go to a state park, go to anywhere where you can have a fire in the outdoors and cook. I'm telling you, your soul will be happy you did. You want your steak room temperature before you put it on the grill. You don't need to be cold, you want it room temperature. Write that down and read it twice, y'all. Room temperature. All right. Jake, are you excited? Show them what you're going to do with that. All right, y'all. Here's what I'm going to do with these bad boys. Right down the middle. This is going to be a little harder. No? Not the one that was Yo! Oh, no. I wish the folks at home who've never dealt with a spiny lobster knew just how sharp those bad boys are right there and most of the time when you watch me catch one you don't hear me say ow but you'll see me flinch it's because that joker right there that is razor sharp is burying in my knuckles while you're catching them this lobster was getting ready to molt now all i'm going to do is go over to the hose and just blow those guts out it's that easy that's what i'm talking about we're going to use the same seasoning why change it up I've never tried this stuff before. Actually, I lie because I guess I tested his steak last week. Boom. Surf and turf. Now, real quick, before we get started, uh, come uh, over uh, here, uh, babe. Uh, come uh, over uh. here. Nope. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Roberts is one of the toughest human beings on the planet, but he made a really good mistake. It wasn't necessarily his fault, and a hunter safety system wouldn't have helped him. He was actually just checking the stand not very far off the ground and his foot slipped and he fell which it wasn't a far fall but his foot landed on an oak tree root and exploded his ankle and he will pay the price for a long time but he's still out here with us at hunting camp having us all here being the most gracious human ever he's always put jake on animals he put kelly on our first turkey he's taken me to do all kinds of amazing stuff and we love him for that come over here Where did you get this grill, Walmart? No, uh, guy, uh, Justin Hyde built it for me. Am I to put it right on the flame? Right over the fire. Now, we started building this fire this morning about two hours ago to get the coals just right. You can actually, look right here, Kelly. You can actually raise it up or down depending on the heat. But can you smell it? Let me tell y'all something about where I'm standing right here. If you're a white-tailed deer, you never want to end up right there, like the last five in the last day and a half, because that's our cleaning station. Jake, go show them the golf cart that we decorated. We just got it a few days ago. Wow, it looks like Blue Gabe decorated it. <laughs> Come on there, let's show them the swamp buggy over here. Now, those golf carts are cool and all, but this swamp buggy right here, Jess, do you know what this was made out of? Uh, military, right? Army, military, deuce and a half. So it's a deuce and a half army military frame that they obviously fabricated and built. This joker Calvin will go. Calvin Turner built it. Who? Calvin Turner. A guy named Calvin Turner built it, and this thing is quiet, it's smooth. I don't know what all this yellow stuff is on here, it keeps falling out, but. Anyhow, Gold. yeah, that's the, no, those are those yellow acorns. Yeah. Anyhow, this thing is a bad machine. It's muzzleloader season for an adults right now and youth season for kids. So Jake actually shot his buck with a 223 today. 
I shot mine with a muzzle loader and Trevor shot his with a muzzle loader. And I can tell you it's one of the craziest shots ever and I caught it on film, but that's for the next video. Now this man right here in the blue, he's a horse farrier and I've always wanted to do a video trimming a horse's feet because I love watching it. So Trevor, what horsepower is your scooter? <laughs> <laughs> You're funny, Gabriel. I tell you one thing about my next video. The only reason it won't be my next video is if we film, do you want me to raise it up some? Yeah, just a little so bit. So we need to raise it up. The hold fat on. off of that steak is causing it to flare up. Nah, hold on, Gabe, give me them tongs. Uh -oh. He wants to flip it. Y'all, we're not even cutting all this out because this is such a fun video. I'm in a great mood. We're just going to leave this stuff in. Oh my goodness, that looks good. Hmm. So you're going to put a char on it and then slow it down no, some? No, uh -uh. you want to cook this hot and fast. Hot and fast. So anyhow, back to the next video. I would say if you're a hunter or you've been around any white-tailed deer, it will probably be the funniest video I ever do. But I, I'll probably regret doing what I did at some point in my life. Yeah, he is. Turn over here. <laughs> he is absolutely going to regret what he did <laughs> in so many ways. So many ways. I'm telling you right now, this guy has no idea. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to put some vengeance on him. It's the hardest I've laughed in a long time. We don't have any butter, no lime on them yet nothing just lobster we're gonna add what we need to add after the fact what is it what do you got jake what is it come over here he's got him some rattling horns y'all hit them together <laughs> you better be careful doing that because the buck's gonna come up out of here right out of the woods behind us uh -oh. yeah. a little flamage that's good though Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. That's what you want. That's how you know if somebody's southern. They reach over there in the fire and touch the meat. Well, you got to make sure it's... You don't want to overcook these. You want these rare. Let me see if I need to scoop I need to jack that thing up a little bit. We got a little grease fire going. That's all right. Here, that's good for a thumbnail. Woo! A little bit of surf and turf, but I did that backwards. A little bit of surf and dang, I did it wrong. A little bit of surf over here and a little bit of turf over there. <laughs> that was wrong. You did, did it right the you first did time. It backwards, you did Barwick. It backwards. Dang it! A little bit of surf and a little bit of turf take 22. I'm gonna go melt some butter. We will see y'all at the table. Redneck, why you gotta roll in something? Oh, Look how nasty he no. is. Redneck. Redneck, you but got. He knows he did look, it too. he got more spots now. <laughs> look at that bad boy right there. Mm. Now, I have never cooked lobster like this on open smoke. It's charred, but it's not overcooked. I made sure I took it off the heat. Look at that head meat. Mm. Mm. I 100% caught these lobsters specifically for Mr. T-Rip. This is Thank true. You, sir. I will eat it. We were going Cobia. Yeah. Bashful. We were actually filming a Cobia video for Kelly. I'm like, stop the clocks. I got to get in and do a tank dive real quick. And then I had to do two to get those six. Is that ain't good? Mm -hmm. Dang Something serious. Now, which way do you cut this? Across the grain. This way? So y'all can see, see the, the grains of the meat. You want to cut it across them. This way. It's about 3.30 in the afternoon. The sun's starting to get to where we need to get to our stand, so the shadows are a little bit bad. He said, cut it across the grain. This way. The grain's coming this way. We're going to cut it just like this. Hmm. Look at that, though. Perfect. Now, if you don't like your steak bloody like that, I do not know what to tell you. Mmm. Mmm. Good mm. job, Trevor. Here's what I'm going to do right here, though. Y'all already know what I'm going to do. Piece of lobster, piece of steak, in the butter just a little bit. Look at this. Babe, you know I'm going to give you the first bite. Come uh -oh. on with it. Mm, that lobster is perfect. It's perfectly oh. perfect. So good. Here, Betty, you want a piece? So this is Betty. 
Jess's wife. That's what I'm talking about. No better than fresh. Come on, Jake, get over here, Buck Slayer. <laughs> How far was Jake shot today? About 150 yards. 150 yards with a 223 off the windshield of a golf like cart. 223, but it was the most awkward. <laughs> what did shot I say? Correction. It's not a 223. It's a 223. Oh, a 223. No, you said a 243. Oh, a 243. It was the word, most awkwardest shot. It was like standing in a bunch of trees, and it was broadside. So it was kind of like this, but then its head kind of went like this, so you couldn't tell what was its shoulder, so I just threw it up and... hi y'all! Why don't we just end it with me, you, and Mr. Trevor going to pick him up? Got the schlock master with me this morning. <laughs> Good job, Jake. Thank you. I just had three hogs walk out right there. Y'all, this is where I've been sitting this morning. Look at the turkeys. Jump in the back. What'd you do this morning? Uh, we were riding around and we were looking at a small, we saw three bucks of spike jump a fence and then we were looking at a different one. Then we saw that it was just a little one so he pulled up and then we saw another one and that's the one I shot but it was really awkward shot because he was in a bunch of trees and he was like, facing us but kind of at an angle so did you get him yeah i got him dang Oh, heck yeah. Five point. It's a decent size one, too. You got that right. That was a nice buck. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for all the positive comments. Make sure to leave a comment if you want to see us do more videos like this at hunting camp. We're actually going to show a lot of tonight in the next video, too, so you get to see we're doing all kinds of crazy fun stuff around here. But until next time, we're getting the heck out of what? We're getting the heck out of shape.